Hello and welcome back to the Spain campaign and we are a couple of months in advance of where we left off and you didn't miss a massive amount. Um, we were still building up our industry and that is still occurring. Um, our first couple of seaplane tenders have come out um, and I'm also in the middle of building up these uh, lovely light carriers that we've got here. Now what I am debating doing is, is what works out better. So one command carrier is worth two so you know what as much as building up you would be great let's try and build up another couple of light carriers we'll start lights and then build up for slightly larger just to be a little bit less of an ic investment um so that takes us up to four at that point um we'll need some good names for these ships so guys i want you to comment and uh, give me some names um, we are still researching our carrier technology, um, but we've at least got sort of the starting point now for some decent carriers. Um, now, aero engine. Ah, helicopters. Well, we're not going to be getting helicopters anytime soon. And, yeah, we're not able to get 1939 level fighters either yet. We're just going to have to accept that our tech isn't going to be perfect, it's just going to be solid. Um, and some seaplane tenders will be fairly useful for detecting sort of ships and the like. Um, we don't have the world's largest navy as it stands, and we're not going to really be able to take out anyone apart from Portugal, who are going to be our sort of first major target. Uh, and to that end, um, we're going to disconnect from the second army, Colonel Hans here, and we're going to send him up north to meet up with um, Rojo Luhush. And then we're going to take the rest of our army. And we're going to send them off towards the Portuguese border. Because to be honest with you, that's where they're going to be needed most. Don Biento. And... Yeah, like so. And then... So he's going to have 70,000 troops, which, to be honest with you, isn't great. I would prefer slightly more, but... We will take it. And small warship AS... Yep, yeah, that's fine. We're building up quite the uh, destroyer fleet. And everyone, if anyone does speak Spanish, I really would like some ship names. I can go in and rename some of our ships manually. And up to 13 torpedo boats. So, the Spanish Armada is being rebuilt, slowly but surely. And in fact, we've got 5 IC left over. So, 1930... So, August of 41 for them. It's quite a long time away. Ah, fuck it. We can get another couple of seaplane tenders. Let's try and get that uh, carrier practical up as soon as possible. And there we go, Danziger War. So, Germany, let's see how you're going to do in this. Uh, twin engine fighter, yep, yeah, 1940. Let's get the, uh, the airframe. And it looks like the Germans are making very quick progress. And Portugal... Yep, still in the middle of nowhere, which means, hopefully, we'll be able to declare war on them relatively quickly. I'm giving up on my plan with South Africa. I don't think I'm going to have the ability to do that, but... Hey, you never know. So, uh, actually, you're going to be the northern force. You're going to base yourselves in Salamanca. You're then going to take up their position. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Yeah, so there's not a massive amount of uh, troops that we'll be facing if Portugal do decide to come for us. And dual purpose guns, which I would imagine is a 39 level tech, so and capital, does that unlock anything? No, we could do with getting the HE ammunition, so we will. And then I wonder if in escorts, yeah, that does unlock heavy AA guns to the next level, so we will get that. Okay, 
So our destroyers are going to be pretty good, especially once we get the last level of small ship technology. Um, so the real question mark becomes, yes, we want to be able to grab the, uh, the single engine fighter prototype advancement. Okay. And we are just filling out our core HQs at the moment with some additional units like these, yeah, defense stadia things. So, I can't tell if you've got one yet. You do. You do. You don't. You do. So, Modesto's group needs one. We want our core commanders to at least be somewhat involved. Right, supplies for money, sure. We've got 12 IC with which to play around with. We're coming to the end of our destroyer run. The problem is I don't want to build any more. I'm building them in groups of four, and I want to sort of stick to that. I guess we could think about some of the upgrades we want to do. So, for example, you would do with being a motorized infantry battalion, please. Um, that would be good. And then do we have any other upgrades that we really want? And we could do a filling out this unit. So what do you need? You've got three more space, so... Uh, HQ, Recon, and... HQ, Recon, maybe Anti-Tank. So HQ, Recon, Anti-Tank. Beautiful. We will send you up to the top so that you get built ASAP. And then for the other units, need anything? Pack artillery and anti-tank? Sure. Pack artillery and anti-tank, okay. And we can get pack artillery now, yes, indeed we can. And we can get both groups of you and chuck you in. Something like that is going to work perfectly. And I don't care if one of our light carriers isn't going to build as quickly. We'll just take that and run with it. Uh, supplies for money, sure. And we're nearly at 250 on the old IC level, which is kind of intense. We'll just drift a little bit. Capital ship secondary guns. We're working from the ground up, everyone. Right, 1940 level there is fine. Yeah, I still think operating text-wise, yeah, we could do with the recon ones. Because we want to increase the speed of our units somewhat. And Canada has entered the Allies. Still nothing from them over there. South Africa still isn't in the Allies. And, I mean... Poland is holding relatively well, actually. Considering we're two weeks in, that's kind of impressive. But they've done as well as they have. And, oh, another free IC. So we're building out our mountain units. You guys are all pretty much full anyway. Um, let's go to Vigo. Let's get deployed across the line. Like so. That works for me. And then yeah, we can concentrate a little bit more of our forces in this area to head towards their uh, capital in the event that we need or, you know, to go fully to war with them. Well, I mean, we are going to go fully to war with them. But... And there won't be much need for it, but, you know, apart from the greater glory of an Iberian Union. Uh, Battlecruiser has advanced. So, we could think about getting Battlecruisers as well. Um, that would be an option, but at the moment, it's not one that I'm going to run for. 
because they are a massive IC investment, and I think just building up our ability to get destroyers out like a crazy motherfucker is not the worst thing in the world. In fact, we've got a whole 10 IC now with which to play around with. And we could do with another couple more of our uh, Defense de la Sed. So that's two. One of which is going to form up into here, so that'll be... That'll be one there, so we'll have one left over which can go into our army group. So we'll need another five. Did I save them anywhere? No, of course I didn't. Okay, so... We could just give them a motorized infantry detachment. Which would be slightly quicker. But it costs a lot more in IC. Cheap it is. Although, the light armor mm, is pretty expensive as well. Nah, fuck it. Let's give these guys slightly faster groups. Uh, we can do with one more group. I could give him an armoured car. Yeah, that'll do. Build another five of them. Let's chuck into our HQ brigades. And we can pump those out quite quickly. So that's at least good. And again, they are a massive IC investment. 18 plays 13. I mean, it's not that much more, actually. I think maybe we should just stick with it. Right, the only other thing we could do is we could buy some stuff, but... We want to get a positive money variance first. Sadly, supplies-wise, there aren't many nations with which we can trade. I mean... None of these deficits are massive. Yeah, so... Not really an option. Right, airplane radio communications, 41. Very good. Right, battle cruiser we're doing. Let's get the battle cruiser armor thickness. Make ourselves some nice ships. Could get pocket battleships, actually. I wonder when they become available. You need cruise attack for that. Oh, okay. Well, fuck that. We'll just go with battleships. Right. Germany invades France. Okay, so. Is this going to give us war? Okay. Um, let's read this carefully. So after fighting fascism in our homeland and despite little international help we receive, we can't commit the same mistake and let fascism spread all over Europe. Though still neutral, we can send supplies and let people join their army to and stop fascism before it reaches the Pyrenees. Yes! <laughs> okay, so France likes us two bit more. Um, Germany... Ha <laughs> ha! Right. Wait, we gained 30 neutrality? Get fucked. Seriously? No. I mean, there's only one way you can roleplay this. You've got to help France. But I don't want that to fuck up my laws. Don't fuck up my laws. Please. Did that fuck up our laws? It's difficult to tell. I think we're still on war economy, aren't we? Go on. Be on war economy. Yes! Just delays our... Damn it! Delays our war with Portugal. You fuckers. You bastards. Oh wait, no, it just not got up. Yes! Good news. Well done, everyone. <laughs> yeah, go fuck yourself. I was about to say, we are going to give Portugal a good fucking when the time comes. And I wish for nothing to stand in the way of that. We have a pretty sizable amount of divisions ready to pounce on them. 
So, yeah. But hey, it doesn't matter if the wall was pushed back just a little bit. We've got some cags, we've got some decent air power. Um, yeah. Ha! Fuck you, Germany. And that makes us 100% on our national unity, which is kind of cool. Germany really wants to get us into the faction, but that ain't going to happen. And we could start aligning towards the communists. So that might be something that we want to think about relatively soon. Okay, and then do we have... Yeah, mountain unit training we want to improve. And money f supplies for money, sure. And infantry unit combined arms at 38. We'll just let that go. And, yeah, okay, USA. Everyone wants some Spanish supplies. We're uh, the ultimate supply provider. And there we go. We've already managed to get our uh, a motorized brigade out. So what we could do within here is maybe we've got an armored car. Maybe a motorized support. We do have Tank Destroyer. 14 IC is a lot of IC, though. I'm trying to think of what would go well in here. I mean, a motorized engineer, probably. So... At least a, a motorized engineer, and then it's just a case of what do we want with it. We could just chuck anti tank in because it's cheap. Um, excuse me, did, did that say 21? Oh, that's because we're. Put it, yeah. Okay, don't worry. Crisis averted. Okay, yeah, that'll do. That's cheap and cheerful, and it does the job. What, what were you that we were building? That's that's a lot better, actually, than you know what. Yeah, we need to be more careful with our IC here. We can't just pump out massive units. We need to think about this. So... I mean, do we need this to have armor? Does it need to have armor? No, it doesn't need to have armor. I mean... Something like that. Yeah, with some anti-tank. And then our HU garrison attachment. Yeah, that looks... This is a much cheaper option. Yeah. Just to fill them out with something. And then we need to give them something that's a bit more... You know, a bit more meat in it. We've got anti-tank in there already. We could chuck in heavy AA as well. But doesn't really contribute much. I mean, it does a bit of piercing. Get five of them. Yeah, that'll do. That's cheaper. More like it. There we go. That's better. So when these come offline, then we'll be able to do those a little bit quicker. That makes much more sense. Special forces, combined arms, sure. And mass assault up to the next level. And, well, we've sent help to France, so hopefully that little bit of help will uh, will keep them off our border for a little while. And, yeah, it's just you now that needs that. Works for me. And supplies for money, sure. And small ship technology improvement. There we go. So, yeah, we've got a couple of 41 level ones already. So, let's get the main armament improved. Assault concentration, hedgehog. Yep, yep, yep. So, 41, 41. 
Our doctrinal texts are very good, which is kind of useful. And then I think for naval, we do need to get sea lane defense because we are going for destroyers. So we might as well get that. And then for operating, do we want to grab some more artillery tech? Just to improve our organization for RT. What is our organization like? 72. I mean, that could be worse. Right. And nearly a full couple of months afterwards, Poland finally fell. So they lasted fairly long. Which is hopefully a good indicator that Germany might be a bit shit in this game. I mean, I did set them to be quite hard. So I would hope that they wouldn't be that shit. But you never know. Um, yes, we were targeting, weren't we, Ireland for a bit of a, an increased threat mission. Yeah, I think we will start by taking out Ireland, and then we will make a move elsewhere. I mean, from our airbase up here, which is a level 8, can our bombers reach 678? Yeah, you can reach. I am going to assume our light bombers... Oh, yeah, they can. And what about our naval... Yes. And then our strategic bombers. Good. So we will have a little bit of air cover. Right. Okay. And, yeah. Gives us a little bit more of our pre-calculating ones. We're, we're just getting, you know, Doctrine Tech everywhere to up our troop power. I'm thinking in 1941 we might be ready for war. That's going to be the key year. Ah, Division HQ. These are the ones we want now. And into service HQ. CAG crew, port strike. Wow, I'm going to want to let some of those run. want to get those but I also really want to get these so I'm afraid we're going to have to uh, hold off on that right does that open up anything on grand battle no let's get army group HQ and Armoured Spearhead, which I assume, yeah, it was 1940. So we can get Core HQ. Great army tax. We shall be the greatest army that ever lived. Oh, that's a shame. And Chromite from Soviets. Thank you very much. And I don't suppose that anyone... Uh, Wants to buy some supply now. Ah, Italy. Nope. France. I mean, we're we're buds, aren't we? Yes. Take some supply. Do it. Oh, one. Well, you know what? It's better than nothing. No, and Portugal doesn't want any of our supply either. I mean, we're right on your doorstep. We're good friends. I know I've got a million troops on your door front, but I mean, don't be mean about that. There's nothing I can do. Probably can drop our number of spies down a little bit. I mean, we've got a massive officer ratio benefit, so we can probably take you down to like half. And then we can think about getting another couple more techs. So artillery support at 41, we don't need to be doing that. Uh, and then we can get one more for the army one. And then you guys can drop on down like that and then that gives us a little bit more of our officers yeah 15 a day is fine expand our heavy industry um did we just get a roll on where we didn't have it before yes good 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 
but that does mean we're going to build it up some more. In fact, let's put all of our IC stuff right at the top and see where we're at. So a lot of it's coming online over the next, you know, in, at the start of the following year. Um, wow, we can build it up at nine point. That's not bad at all, actually. Right, another couple of cags. I guess the question becomes, do we have any... Ah, we do. Some more fleet... Some more fleet cag arm. And divisional headquarters increase, which I assume was the one that was, yep, yeah, there. And we'll get the battle commander recognition advancement just for a little bit. Aha, and then we've got one more here. Now, the question is, where do we want to put you? I'd say in the, the sort of army level. So you're now a division, um, and you know what, we can probably put you into the front line now, which is good. Recognize defensive. Yeah, we'll just let that run. We want to do a little bit of breakthrough, a bit of more attack speed. CAG pilot training, yeah, that's fine. Port strike. Supplies, that's a major supply deal, thank you. Thank you to the Dutch, and aha, I like carrier armor which we can let run, and we can get the next level of light carrier class. Let's get that. And we could think about, yeah, getting another couple of texts from here. And that makes this unit relatively powerful. Gives it a bit of armoured push. Artillery barrel, 41. Great off capital ships, we can take that away. Naval air targeting. Um, we can get air superiority bonuses as well, which is good. Let's get a couple of those air techs lined up. And it's not a massive army over here, but it should be enough to handle the Portuguese quite nicely. Okay, and this is our anti-tank. So this is the one, yeah, that's going into here. And joining up with, is it you? Yes. Right, that makes that a proper unit. We've lost the effects of local military power. Does that mean we're going to be upgraded to something else? Take this down to like 25. Yeah, like so. Because I want to keep those carrier techs running. 50 supplies. There we go. That's what we want to see. Right. Range finding equipment. 41. Self-propelled artillery. Uh, uh, fuck it. All right, our ca artillery carriage designs. Yep, 41. And interception tactics. Yeah, we want to start building up some Air Force doctrines now that we've done a bit more on our operational techs for our infantry and the like. 1940, we can take you off. And interdiction. And, oh, an artillery factory. Good. We need an artillery factory. I don't think we've got hardly any. 
So, I do want to get the fighter pilot training. And I want to check our own neutrality. 22% against Portugal's threat to us. So, we need to be at 9.11. And then up here in Ireland, we need to be at 0 0.78. So, we've got a long way to go yet, ladies and gentlemen. Can't see that Germany is currently pushing into France, which is good. Well, that's just given us some money. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's 38. We'll let the carrier aircraft prototype run because we can upgrade all of our ships a little bit. And then, yeah, I want to buy metal from the Soviets. So we want to buy... We'll just do it for five because we might as well. And we're green across the board and then it's just we need someone to sell our supplies to. Ah, UK. Ah, but you don't have any money. Yugoslavia. Ah. No, no one ever wants to buy our lovely supply. Twin engines. Get at least the first level of these done. Because that provides the greatest impact, I believe. Air power most definitely did make the difference last time. Right. The question is, do we, with our manpower, we yeah, we we need to do the infantry strength increase, and then does that also do lights at the same time? Yeah, it does. No, we won't do that for now. We'll only do that once we're at war. Because it increases IC build cost, which is unnecessary. And the question is, do we want to get some, like, naval... I mean, we could get the Special Forces one, but... Again, I don't think that's necessary. Ah, here we go. Back up to 39 level techs over here. And yeah, we can uh, afford to drop our officer increase a little bit. Carrier torpedo protection enhancements. Here and yes, we want to get light bomber prototypes up as well as mediums. And yeah, yeah, more CAGs. Quite the uh, the air force we've got here now. We're up to 55 planes, not bad. Uh, we can just chuck any old commander in on there for now. Looks like it's uh, a Russian. And carrier hangar advance, okay. Yeah, I can see that we're starting to get sort of up to date now. We need the carrier screws and, and the like, which I imagine will be the next ones to come along. Yeah, naval underway replenishment's about to be done. And yeah, all on January. Right, naval underway replenishment. 42, which takes up to a massively improved range for a lot of our ships. Now we can get naval bomber prototype and flying boat prototype. Heavy anti-air guns, which I assume is an escort tech. Or is it a capital tech? Does that do? Yeah, that does carriers, so we'll get that. for money. Thank you very much, Columbia. And we're doing a full production queue. Aha! Right, so. 
We have a full production queue. We've got seven IC with which to play around with. Could get another couple of seaplane tenders. And then we've got four there, four there. Get some more destroyers as well. Question is, destroyer tech-wise, how far away from getting the new main armament ones? I can't even tell. Right, where is it? Uh, carriers, battleship, A battle cruiser. Until February, so I mean, we could get some more destroyers, just get another run of four. Which I think would work fine. And we can make it into 1940. So we've got our standard techs and the like. Now, I lean towards getting a short-term investment. And then we need to continue to do the neutral... Blah, blah, reduce our neutrality mission because... How far are off we? 20.3. So, yeah, we need to continue to do that. And then I still think we need to keep it on the economy focus and build yet more heavy industry. So, in... Yeah, battle dots and so Cartagena. So battle jaws, which is over here, and then La Corona. So yeah, we we nearly got. Five levels of uh, industrial capacity there. Uh, we've turned ourselves into a bit of a, an industrial powerhouse. Right, carrier screws advance. I imagine a lot of these techs are going to come online very quickly. Truck and primers 1940. We don't need to be doing that. We will get the advanced education investment because we're at the point where we are. Uh, Need to be doing that. Right, it looks like Norway is getting ready for war. Right, broadcasting improvement. Carrier bulkheads layout. Where are all of our carrier techs? Yeah, down here. So we're just waiting on that light carrier class. Unit command and control. And I think I'm going to call it an episode here, everyone. So thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing the next episode of the Spain campaign. Thanks again. Bye-bye.